So hello my super friends, welcome to another episode of Rock Comics and I'm your host Arjen Roy. It has been many months, nearly a year since I've made a video in English and here it is again. So today I am going to give you the Tick's origin and five of his crossovers that I think will be awesome to enjoy in the comics in the form of web series or even in movies. So many of you people actually may know the Tick but some of you may not know. For, and for those people who don't know who the tick is, here I am to guide you. So without any further delay, let's begin. But before beginning, I want to just make it clear that the tick is not a very famous character in India. And I knew about the character, but I de decided to research on him after one of my subscribers, Ratva Habisha, suggested me the video. So thank you Ratva for suggesting me. And now without any further delay, let's begin. The Tick was created in 1986 by Ben Erdland, I hope I am pronouncing his name correctly, when he was 18 years old. And Tick was created as a mascot for a newsletter of Brockton, Massachusetts store near New, uh, for New England Comics. And Ben Erdland was a frequent customer of that store. So let's dive into his origin. The Tick actually has no memory of his life before becoming the tick the only thing he remembers is that he is the tick and indeed he has escaped from a mental asylum which is in a metropolitan city known as the city oh yeah so in 1994 the animated series he has passed his official superhero initiation test and was assigned to the city so while doing his superhero stuff in the city and causing more havoc than required the Tick got to know that he was nearly invincible, but he suffered frequent memory losses due to frequent attacks on his head. And during this time, he also gained a sidekick or a partner named Arthur. As well as he also gains quite a few villains such as the Terror, Miss Lind, the Chairface and the Chains of Vigilante. And in the process, he adopted the battle cry which became to be the most famous one liner in the tick's history and that's spoon oh, i don't get it spoon look i'm just a sidekick so for those of you who want to know more about the tick i would like to recommend you the tick animated series which consists of 3 seasons and nearly 36 episodes and it's on netflix and secondly, I would like to recommend you the Tick series of 2001 uh, starring Patrick Warburton. I hope I am spelling his name right. Uh, and it also has great rating of IMDb of 7.8 out of 10. And third and last but not the least, the Amazon Prime series and the most recent series of which consists of two seasons. It, I mean, I have not seen it, but the reviews are literally just great. I mean, they are awesome reviews and I am very keen to see it recently. So have you seen it? If you have, please share your thoughts on me. And if you have seen all the three, then please let me know which one should I watch to get to know more about the tick. So as I earlier said in the video, I will be giving you four crossovers which of the tick which I think will be awesome to watch and will quite be entertaining ride. So just let's dive into the crossover. For the first crossover, I think it would be great if we can see Scooby Doo and Tick in one movie. I mean it would be literally great to see the Tick's quirky sense of humor along with Arthur and Scooby Doo's gang unravel the mysteries or of the terror. This journey will be surely great and surely be a fun ride to watch. And the second crossover is between a Tick and the Batman. Imagine this completely different two characters with the Tick's quirky sense of humor and Batman's sense of seriousness and planning how they would match each other in an adventure together. I mean, when Tick would get stranded in Gotham City, Batman would think him as an unwanted guest and imagine Batman attacking and Tick saying this. Oh, you mean like, not in the face, not in the face. It will surely be a fun ride to watch to see these two characters accompany each other in an adventure along with the two sidekicks Arthur and Robin and the Joker and the Terror as their villains. I am 
eagerly waiting for this. Hope you are too. And for the third crossover, I think it will be really great to see the tick along with our Peter Parker, that's Spider-Man. See, there are numerous Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse, but specifically I will be referring to the first Spider-Man in comic books, obviously Peter Parker. And I think it will be great, really really great to see these two superheroes together. To be honest, I don't want Tick to get stranded in the Marvel Universe, rather I want Spider-Man this time to get stranded in the Tick's Universe because I'm really keen and interested to see the Spider-Man along with Tick and to be honest, I'm really interested to see Spider-Man along with Arthur as they accompany each other in a mission of destroying Miss Lynn's evil plans. And I don't know why but for some reason I think I really want Spider-Man to get indulged with Tick in a hawk fight. The fourth crossover is between the Tick and Phineas and Ferb. Look, I know, most of you have seen Phineas and Ferb and you may think that it is kind of a crazy idea but I want to remind you that Phineas and Ferb has a movie called Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel uh, in which they have a crossover even with some of the Marvel heroes like Spider-Man, Thor, Hulk and Iron Man and that movie is quite good actually it was literally a good movie and i think the kind of character which the tick is he will perfectly fit into the comical tone of phineas and ferb and and to be honest i just can't wait the tick and doofins emerge to see face to face to one another today up to this uh i as i said earlier in the video that i have come across the tick recently so if i have said something wrong about the tick i'm really sorry and you can always correct me in the comments also you can write down in the comments that if i have missed something about the tick or if you have wanted me to say something about the tick and i think this is the end of the video thank you for watching till the end and if you like the video please like share and do subscribe and till then peace but till then you can watch my other videos there are quite a few of English videos and if you understand Hindi, there are a ton of Hindi videos. And now, till then, peace.